of you. How the hell are you doing? You know who it is. Madman here. All right, maniacs. Let's cover a fucking topic, shall we? The topic is how to dress like a greaser. Now, I'm sure many of you have already seen all these trendy fashion videos telling you how to do the greaser style. Yes, this is this is the greaser style. This is how you want to do it. So what you want to do is you want to have your leather jacket on and you want yourself a nice v-neck white t-shirt and you want your tight blue jeans and maybe a nice all leather pair of Chuck Taylors. You want to slick the hair back. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Every time. Now, I've gotten lots of private messages. Hey, Madman, check out this video. Oh, look at this video. This is bullshit. This sucks. This is, you know, fucked up. Uh, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. And you're right. I can't tell you how many times I've been sent these trendy fashion videos of these cats that are trying to show people how to do the greaser look and every time every time they get it a hundred percent wrong it drives me up a fucking wall and this is how disinformation gets spread and a lot of cats and kittens get pissed about this and I don't blame them here you have somebody who is not in the greaser you know subculture has no love or really respect for it and then tries to come off like an authority figure on how to be a greaser, how to dress like a greaser. That'd be like me trying to instruct anybody how to, you know, uh, dress a Marine in his, you know, in his dress blues with the pins and the medals and everything, you know, cuffed and creased in the right way and everything you're supposed to do. It's not going to happen. Why would I do something like that? I have no fucking knowledge about it. I wasn't a Marine. Anyway, so let's go ahead and cover the topic. Now, the thing is, I'm only going to do the basic look. I'm not going to get into this big myriad of every type of shoe and boot you can wear, every kind of shirt or pair of pants or jeans or jacket that you can wear. I'm going with just the basics. I've covered boots and jackets and sneakers and shirts, and I've covered all this stuff in many many videos so if you want to know more go check out those videos that's what the channel is here for you dig so none of these comments oh you left out this kind of shoe or you left out this hairstyle or 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 guys i've covered pretty much everything at this point this is just pulling in the full package you understand all right so let's go on with the basics let's start with the hair the most common greaser hairstyles that you're going to find you're going to find the traditional pompadour, which is kind of like what I have right here. It's more of a rounded pompadour. It's pushed up. Um, you know, the sides are slicked back and up. You know, you can you know opt in for a ducktail or whatever. Uh, then there's, of course, the, uh, the faded pompadour, which everybody knows that I sported in my earlier times here. And I probably will go back to eventually uh, where the, you know, the sides, they're, they're faded up. The back is faded up, the whole thing. You guys have pretty much seen that style before. Uh, your typical elephant's trunk where it rolls in on the sides, then to the front, and then it kind of comes down in a nice little drape of hair that comes down probably about, you know, about eye level, nose level, somewhere about there, depending on how long you have it. Um, you know, your typical slick back look where the hair is more slick back on the sides, the back, the top, the whole thing. Uh, you know, your sideburns kind of like I have right now, and then like your, you know, your mutton chops and... You know, just other various sideburn styles. That's basically what it comes down to with the hair. There's not a whole lot of different styles. I mean, you have like your jelly rolls and, you know, stuff like that. But typically, especially in the modern day, most greasers kind of stick with a pompadour or an elephant's trunk. Let's go on to the jackets. Your typical shot style. I'm not saying it is a specific, I'm not saying it's, you know, the shot perfecto, but the style of the shot perfecto motorcycle jacket usually has, you know, your big collar with your button snaps, you know, your belt and the whole bit. 
Also, you like your your World War II era bomber, like leather bomber jackets are very very common. Um, you know your your campus jacket, you know cotton campus jacket style, which I've covered as well, is very very common. Uh, Dicky jackets. Um, you know, especially now when you come to more like the UK stuff, you know, you're going to go with your, like your Harrington um, and just, you know, real and then like your denim jackets, real basic stuff. Let's cover the shirts. The shirts are usually like a white T-shirt, a black T-shirt, uh, some kind of a band shirt or, you know, a really cool, awesome, you know, fucking greaser style t-shirt like i have up on my red bubble store you guys can go check that out anytime you like i have more than just t-shirts and hoodies i got all kind of cool shit dig that also when it comes to shirts you can have like in, during the summertime you have like your, your short sleeve uh, shirts like this usually like a checkered pattern this one's like a black checkered pattern i have like a white and black checkered pattern um, you kind of stick want to stick to more of your like old school check kind of shirts or just plain color like white gray uh you know black keep it real simple real basic nothing fancy then we have flannel shirts flannel shirts are great um you know even like during especially like during the autumn time even in the winter time i use a you know a, a fucking flannel shirt to keep the heat in with a jacket over it and the whole bit uh you know you want to stick with like your traditionals you can do like some yellows and reds and blues and grays and you know just keep it real basic on the flannels is really what you want. I mean, you guys can see the examples I'm putting up right here when it comes to pictures and videos and stuff that I have. When it comes to the pants, you want to go with some cotton pants. When it comes to the cotton ones, you want to go with the grays, the blacks, the dark blues. Um, you know, nothing, again, too fancy. You know, greasers don't really wear fancy clothes unless you're more of a het cat or like a teddy boy, which is a kind of a little bit of a different thing. It's more about wearing the classy upscale clothes, and that's not what I'm covering here. I'm covering the basic greaser style, you know, then the jeans, you know, your dark blue jeans, even so up to your like lighter medium and, you know, medium and light blue jeans are fine. That's okay. You want to cuff them up. You can do a single cuff, a double cuff. It don't really matter. Whatever you're comfortable with. When it comes to the shoes, the basic, you know, fucking greaser rockabilly style shoes. When it comes to boots, the first and foremost, most important boot when it comes to the greaser style is the engineer boot, without a doubt. Engineer boot, the buckle engineer boot. If any of you guys type that in on Google, you'll see what I'm talking about. You go with the engineer boot. Now, combat boots were actually worn in the 50s. That's definitely part of the style, but it's not very... It's there, but it's not like very popular. Some like to wear the like the lace-up boots, the combat boots. That's fine. I started with combat boots when I was in high school. That's all I had. But I, you know, quickly moved up to the engineer boot. Also, you can opt for like a buckleless style, uh, without you know buckleless without the buckle style of Wellington boots, black Wellington boots. It's very similar to an engineer boot, thinner sole. Uh, a lot of cats in the 50s did wear like the Wellington style boot. That's also very popular. When it comes to the sneakers, you can go with like your Chucks, like your Chuck Taylors, your PF Flyers, your Kids, you know, your black and whites. You stick to blacks, the black and whites, or the all whites. Those are very common in the 50s. Um, you know, you can go with penny loafers if you like, or just like regular lace up kind of dress work shoes, you know, something that you wouldn't really wear to like a funeral or a wedding, but you would wear to maybe the shop. That would also be pretty consistent with the greaser style like a nice lace-up pair of like work shoes that's very common as well now when it comes to the accessories um accessories mm, you don't really need to have them you can or you don't you, you know it's it's not really a big deal you can have them or you don't have to have them you know a rag in your pocket like a bandana or a rag in your pocket you know you definitely want your comb you know whether you have a pick a comb whatever you use to style your hair you always want to have a comb with you on hand because your hair will get fucked up uh, when it comes down to, you know, the the rings, you can wear rings if you like. There's no set limit on how many rings you can wear. You don't have to wear any. Who gives a shit? Jewelry, it's not a real big deal. I have like a necklace. I have a few rings, you know, earrings and shit like that. It's fine. It's not a real big deal. Um, now, when it comes down to, like, your, your wallet, you can carry a regular fucking billfold. It don't matter. Or you can go with a chain wallet. I personally like to carry a chain wallet. 
Um, it wasn't super common in the 50s, like more of the truckers would wear the chain wallet, but it kind of started to become a thing as time went on. So if you want to opt in for a chain wallet, hell, that's perfectly fine. I like chain wallets per personally, that's what I wear. Um, you know, you want to carry some kind of a knife for self-protection, you know, go ahead. Just know the laws in your state and what you can and can't carry. You dig? Also, if you, you know, you're a smoker, which I'm not promoting, if you don't smoke, don't start. But if you are a smoker, uh, like a good Zippo lighter is always very classy, very old school. You want a good Zippo lighter. Carry your smokes if you have a soft pack, which means it's just a soft, you know, pliable pack. You put that in your, you know, shirt sleeve and you roll it up. Bing, bang, boom, you're good. If you got a hard pack, put it in your back pocket. Just remember to take it out when you sit down. Or if you have a shirt pocket, like on one of these kind of shirts, you just, you know, slip that in there like that. Bing, bang, boom, you're ready to go. All in all, the greaser style is not a very complex style. It's very, very basic. You know, it's basically your denim, your leather, your boots. Um, and you want to go with retro clothing. Like your jeans should be retro styled jeans. Tighter fitting jeans. Not skinny jeans. Tighter fitting jeans. You know, your boots should be, you know, like your proper leather engineer boots. Or you can even go with harness boots. That's very normal nowadays. Look up harness boots. That's the one with the ring in it. You dig? Um, you know, your old school, you know, sneakers. And remember, your old school, you know, black and white sneakers, whether they're Chuck Taylors or PF Flyers or Keds, usually it's like a, the most common style is like a black and white. And it's black canvas and like white rubber. Okay? That's what you're looking for, not this leather crap and all this like fancy fucking hundred dollar parachute. Greasers don't wear that stuff. One thing to remember, greasers back then and still now always shop for deals. They get what they can afford because being a greaser is, you know, you're not a rich boy. You're not like this little rich fucking pampered little princess running around with the bullshit. Okay. All the greasers that I know personally were all poor dudes or like working class dudes. Um, a lot of them were tradesmen, worked in the trades. It wasn't this cutesy like, we're gonna do the greaser style today. This is how you do the hair. And then you're gonna put the shirt on and you're gonna pull the collar up. We don't do that kind of stuff. We don't, it's not this mamby pamby stuff. If you wanna be a greaser and you wanna be part of the community, you're more than welcome. But the best thing I can tell you is this. If you're not a greaser, you never ran with greasers, you've never been a part of the subculture, which has been here since the late 40s, don't start dictating to people how to dress like a greaser. It's no bueno. Nobody digs that shit, okay? Typically, typically, people take offense to those that come into their world and start dictating to them how it is and how it looks and how to do it when they have no fucking clue. You dig? Okay, so on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this shit. Hopefully, you guys really dug this video. Give it a thumbs up, a like, a share, a comment, a favorite, and all that kind of shit. Check out the Redbubble shit. Check out what I got on there for merch. I got all kinds of cool greaser shit I'm uploading daily constantly with the fucking designs so go check that shit out if you haven't liked the facebook go like the facebook like the twitter you know follow me on instagram and fucking <sighs> go sign up for for my website my blog you know where it's at crypticart.com go check that shit out dig it Woo. Woo. <sighs> fuck <laughs> so as always if you don't know Get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo. Hang loose and be safe. The madman is out. Hell yeah. Solid.